dear students this is the very first time i am going to make a video about fourier series the reason behind making this video is that in last class i was trying to find a half range fourier cosine series of the function x times 2 minus x that is defined from 0 to 2 so it is known to you that if we want to find the fourier cosine series only then the function f of x equal to 2x minus x squared which is defined in the interval 0 to 2 this should be expanded on minus 2 to 0 that means by doing this this function will become an even function and you know that for an even function we just need to find the coefficients a naught and a sub n b sub n will be always 0 this time so this is the Fourier cosine series you know and this series will be completed if we find a naught and a sub n so in today's class uh, when I was trying to find the first Fourier coefficient a naught then I got stuck by saying that it actually doesn't matter whether we apply full range formula or half range formula the result will be always same uh, but when I have used full range formula you know that I got the answer of a naught as minus 8 by 3 and at the same time when you all are trying to find a naught by using half range formula you have found a naught to be 4 by 3 so where is the problem actually i was wrong at that time so still i restate that both full range and half range will give us the same result but somehow in last class i was totally unable to give you the clear concept and i am really very sorry for that so here I am going to remove your confusion but at first let's check the correct result of a0 by using the half range formula. So here it is that is a0 equal to 2 by L 0 to L f of x dx. And I have mentioned this part as method 1 because within some seconds I will show you another method that is called method 2 since the function f of x is defined from 0 to 2 so the value of l will be 2 so if we input the value of l here we obtain 2 by 2 integration from 0 to 2 and the function will be 2x minus x squared dx you know that from 0 to 2 the function is defined to be 2x minus x squared and now by simple integration we are getting the result of a0 that is exactly equal to 4 by 3 now i am going to show you the alternative method uh, that is how we can apply the full range formula to find the same value of a0 so by the time you are very familiar with uh, this formula that is a0 equal to 1 by l integration from minus l to l f of x dx and in last class i was working with this formula you know so the thing is when we are integrating from minus 2 to 2 then the function f of x is becoming actually a piecewise function that means from 0 to 2 the function that we already have 2x minus x squared but when we are extending this function on minus 2 to 0 then the reflection about y axis is the red colored curve um, that is actually minus 2x minus x squared which is found from the concept of even function uh, that means if we want the reflection of 2x minus x squared about y axis on minus 2 to 0 then we have to plug in minus x in the place of x because you know that for an even function the formula is f of minus x equals f of x so finally we have a piecewise function that is some part is defined from minus 2 to 0 and other part we have already defined from 0 to 2 now if we focus on the integration then the integral from minus 2 to 2 can be subdivided from minus 2 to 0 once and then from 0 to 2 from minus 2 to 0 the function is minus 2x minus x squared you can see from the red colored curve and from 0 to 2 the function is 2x minus x squared 
and then by integrating we have the result of a naught that is equal to 4 by 3 so you can see that we can apply any formula maybe half range maybe full range but but you can understand that uh, if we use half range formula then we will get the desired result very quickly but the main concept is both full range and half range will give us the same result okay so actually it doesn't matter whether we apply full range or half range but it will be convenient if we apply half range formula because by this we will get our desired result very quickly so similarly i have tried to find the second coefficient a sub n that is equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x cosine n pi x divided by l dx that means i have just used the half range formula i can also use the full range formula here so at that time the function will be defined from minus 2 to 2 that means it will be a piecewise function but we don't need to do that because it will be time consuming so uh, by doing this we can have the direct result here you can see this is our s of n finally so after uh, plugging the value of a naught and a sub n in the main function so we have the required Fourier cosine series that means we have found a Fourier series that contains only the cosine terms so i hope you have got the idea so thanks to all